This is Deck Klasky. Four minutes on the net with Deck. Makehits.com. Deck at Makehits.com. If you want to send me an email, most people do. You can comment down below. Much better than everybody can see your questions and my answers. But strangely, everybody wants to get an email back from Deck, and I don't mind that at all. So, this is the last week in a little series we've done on self tapes which are essential for uh, a career in the music uh, well not, not not essential for a career in the music industry but certainly will help was if you want a career in the film industry or in television then you've got to know about self tapes and you've got to do them and you've got to do them successfully and this series I think has covered most of the points we had an email from a chap who was on about uh, the fact that his camera is useless outdoors. Well two points to this, uh, he's talking about the sound, two points, uh, the camera that you use has to, has to, has to be able to take a Lavalier microphone, a, a clip microphone. You wouldn't have it as visible as this, although it really essentially I've been told and many people have told me this in the industry, it doesn't really matter because when it comes to doing the film or the TV show, then the sound department will take care of the microphones. But for self-tapes, this is very acceptable. Now, this is an outdoor, what you call a fluffy. It's just a little fluffy that you put over the little tiny lapel microphone. And that will cut out a good 80%, 90% of the wind noise. That's the most problematical situation that you will have is wind noise. With a, if you use just an iPhone or an Android to record it, you will certainly get wind noise. That's for sure. So there's, there's a good tip there. Now the last points I wanted to cover were clothes. Make absolutely sure that you are wearing the clothes that the director on the sides or the script as, as we call it in the UK has instructed. There will be instructions on the script that they send you through. And there will be quite detailed instructions and you will be able to get from the the script anyway, the flavour of the character you're playing. Now it's no good if it's a, an absolute crook and a villain, there's no good then we, wearing summer clothes. It just looks totally wrong. So you've got to be a little bit sensible in that respect. Wear proper clothes. The approach, they always say to be properly dressed is to be appropriately dressed. And be appropriately dressed for the character you are playing in the script or the sides. The other point as well is practice, practice, practice. You cannot practice enough, honestly. And the other point as well, I would say to you, just like in the music industry, we always say in the music industry, self-production is no production. In other words, you produce a song yourself, you think it's fantastic. It is nowhere near what you can get if you use an outside hit producer. So if you've got a friend who will help you do self-tapes, provided he knows what he's doing. Don't get Charlie down the pub who says he knows a bit, or he's, or he's a photographer, or something stupid like that. No, you want somebody, if you can, scout around. Again, the universities and the colleges are the places to go. And you get somebody and you buy him a bottle of champagne, or buy him a bottle of beer even, or her a bottle of beer, whoever, whoever it is, and then get them enthusiastic. And if they like what you're doing, they'll do a blooming fine job on it. Because that's what they want out of life. And obey, another, another final thing is that if you're practicing, 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 obey or listen to the instructions that you're given. Don't be full of your own importance and say, oh no, I don't want to do it that way. And do it the way they want. You can always go back the next day and do it your own way and then you get somebody else to look at it and say which is the best. That's, that's the, the ideal way to do it. But always have somebody with you and then have a third eye. What is called in the business a third eye. In other words, somebody there that will pick up on the breadcrumbs on your lip. Trust me, I know, I've done it. I've done that 
had a massive costly shoot in a roundabout full of flowers up in Huddersfield with my brother and when we saw the eventual results he had a crumb on his upper lip you wouldn't believe that in a million years absolute truth so you got to have a third eye somebody looking to see for creases in the clothes for bad makeup uh, your hair very important get everything right it's worth it because you could you could buy that person oh bottle of champagne 30 quid and you can make 80,000 quid out of it. Does that make sense? This is Deck. Four minutes on the net with Deck. Don't forget the draw. First of September. Ha <laughs> ha. First of September. Get in touch. Deck and make hits or comment down below. Share it with as many people as you can. Bye.